If you're a PC gamer like me, you've probably tried tweaking your PC settings to squeeze every last drop of gaming performance. There are a ton of guides on how to do this, but there's one thing in common with pretty much all of them. Set NVIDIA control panel. Boot into the NVIDIA control panel. Start the NVIDIA control panel. Inside of the NVIDIA control panel. The NVIDIA control panel is a program installed alongside NVIDIA GeForce drivers, and it allows users to adjust a bunch of video and graphics settings. It hasn't really changed much since it first came out in the early 2000s, but it's still a common focus point even in the latest PC optimization guides. How can such an old program still impact graphics quality and performance in the modern day? Why does every optimization guide recommend different settings? Does anyone actually know what they're talking about? To find the truth, I benchmarked three different combos of NVIDIA control panel settings. The default combo is just the defaults which come with the driver. The optimized combo comes from one of the most viewed and recent video guides on YouTube. Lastly, the performance combo has every setting set to the most performant option. I also completely kneecapped my PC for these benchmarks. Tweaking these kinds of settings has the biggest impact on lower end systems, so I limited my mid-range desktop to perform more like a mediocre gaming laptop. Now onto the benchmarks. First, let's take a look at default versus optimized. Across all five games tested, there's virtually no difference in average FPS, but the optimized combo on average does seem to perform slightly worse. This is the same for the 1% lows, except for GTA 5, which takes a big 4.8% hit. Okay, so maybe the optimized combo was just bad. Surely the performance combo will make a difference, right? Apparently not. Similar to before, there's virtually no difference across all five games in average FPS or 1% lows. Taking a look at relative performance, Civilization 6 sees the biggest percent improvement in average FPS using the performance combo, with GTA 5 and Modern Warfare 2 seeing measurable hits to their 1% lows when using both the optimized and performance combos. Overall, the non-default settings don't seem to be improving performance at all. What's going on here? The truth is that modern games don't use most of the NVIDIA control panel settings. The NVIDIA control panel was released at a time when games had relatively basic rendering pipelines which could be easily manipulated at the driver level to improve graphics fidelity with newer techniques. On the other hand, modern games typically run on custom proprietary game engines which can have vastly different graphics implementations. This is one of the reasons why new technologies like DLSS and Reflex need to be implemented on a per game basis. For the NVIDIA control panel settings, which are used by games, it makes sense that the default values chosen by NVIDIA engineers would probably perform the best across the board. It doesn't really make sense for them to leave free performance on the table for their own products. But if this is the case, why do so many videos and articles still recommend adjusting the NVIDIA control panel settings? The reality is that this topic is super easy to farm for clicks. No PC gamer is going to resist the prospect of a free and easy way to increase their frame rates. A lot of these guides simply regurgitate the same recommendations from other guides over the last 15 years, and the average gamer isn't going to spend their weekend benchmarking these settings to see if there's actually a performance improvement. It goes to show that there's still a lot of misinformation on the internet. There are a ton of common PC tweaks that I plan to myth bust in a future video, but for now, leaving your NVIDIA control panel at the default settings is a safe bet. If you found this video helpful, leave a like so YouTube can show it to more PC gamers. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.